I get these questions all the time. Wait, hold up. CapCut? You think my edits are so bad I'm out here using CapCut? Nah. But alright, I get it. You really want to know what software I use. So let's actually answer it this time. Properly. But instead of just telling you, even though it literally says it in all my video descriptions as well as my bios, I'm going to test it by taking the exact same clips and making an edit on them using the five most popular editing softwares. We got free softwares, we got paid softwares, we got mobile softwares, we have it all. And I'm going to link them to finally see which one is the best for making edits. So these are the clips I'll be working with. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Now here's the twist. I don't get to choose which software I use. So let's see which software I get first. Real quick before we keep going, I want to shout out the sponsor of today's video, Minmax Audio. They've built some seriously next level tools for creators. Their text-to-speech model is literally the most human-like AI voice I've tested, and it supports over 40 languages. You can also clone any voice with just 10 seconds of audio, or design a brand new voice by describing it. On top of that, They've got a library of 300 plus preset voices with emotion control that's as easy as tagging the mood you want. And they're not stopping there. They've got text to music too. Up to 90 seconds of custom tracks where you can control the mood, genre, instruments, and even vocals. You can just type in what music you want and get studio level results. If that interests you, click the link in the description to try out Minmax Audio and big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. And we got... Looks like it's DaVinci Resolve. So fun fact about DaVinci is that that was actually the first software I ever used when I just started and I was making AMVs. So it'll be interesting to see if I can still edit on it. Now to make this more interesting, I'm also going to be putting a time limit to each edit. So for each software, I will only have one hour to make and finish the edit. So I have the timer right here and I'm gonna start it in three, two, one let's go okay so first off i want to import the clips so let's just see if i drag this onto the timeline and change the frame rate so we have the same frame rate as the clips as soon as i opened the software i realized i don't remember anything from it and i'm not gonna lie it took me three whole minutes just to figure out how to cut the clips oh there we go Okay, so I just need to press on the scissors here as it does not say anything about that, but it's okay. I guess I'll just have to use the, the button. And about 10 minutes to figure out how to make a zoom in. Yes. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. This looks like a motion blur icon, icon, but I have no idea to be honest. So I'll probably just have to do it with no motion blur because I have no idea how to get that. And so I decided to just use the presets they have for the transitions, which was a lot simpler. Some of the presets were questionable. <laughs> some of these are fucking crazy, like, oh my God. But I did find some that looked decent. And as soon as I was getting into a groove, I had a technical difficulty and had to pause for about 30 minutes, but I wasn't gonna let that stop me and kept going. And after finishing the transitions, if you can call them that, I wanted to try and make my favorite effect, the ghost effect. And I don't know if I'm just stupid, I could not for the life of me figure it out. This is so complicated, like, I don't understand. Why is there two of them? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have no idea. So after wasting five minutes, I decided to do other things for now and try again later. So I added CC as well as some effects from the presets they have. Okay, so I added CC to all the clips, um, which was an experience. It does look like there is a lot of options and a lot of stuff you can change, but it's just a little bit overwhelming. I really don't know why I was so stubborn and didn't just watch tutorials for this challenge, because maybe if I did, I wouldn't waste the last 15 minutes trying and failing to make the ghost effect again. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> 
Jesus. Well, oh, and the time's off. But anyways, here is what I was able to make in one hour with DaVinci Resolve. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Da Vinci, Da Vinci, Da Vinci. Honestly, if I had more time and actually watched a tutorial, I could have made something decent. The potential is there and it's free. So I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. That being said, the next software I'll be trying is Alight Motion. Alight Motion is actually the only software I'll be trying that works only for mobile. And so I went on my phone and downloaded it. Now I have actually used Alight Motion before once for a video, but that was a while ago. So we'll see if I remember anything. After opening the project and importing the clips, I got straight to work. Surprisingly, it was way easier than Da Vinci. Cutting the clips was simple. Okay, perfect. So I cut all the clips and I even managed to make some decent transitions that has motion blur. Not the best looking transitions, but at least we got some transitions. The downside, editing on a phone is tedious. Everything's done with your thumbs and it's just not efficient. After finishing the transitions, I made some effects, which besides the fact that a lot of the presets were locked unless you have the paid version went pretty well and i was even able to make the ghost effect but let's not talk about the fact that i was trying to figure out how to duplicate the clip for way too long oh wait oh my god there we go why am i i'm actually stupid <laughs> and now that i know how to duplicate the layers i can do the ghost invert so a little scuffed but not bad by the time i added the finishing touches i ran out of time while making the text for the intro so here's what i ended up with you've been hit by you've been struck by a smooth criminal Honestly, not bad. For one hour on mobile, I'll give a light motion a 6.5 out of 10. Solid effort, but limited by the paid features and the fact that it's on a phone. Moving on, the next software I'll be editing on is CapCut. All right, CapCut. I've never actually used it before, so I was kind of nervous. Trying to make transitions felt a lot like Da Vinci, but with way more presets, or at least that's what I thought before realizing 90% of them are paywalled. But at least this amazing ice cube transition wasn't. Maybe I need done a different one. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Wait. <laughs> Why is it in an ice cube? <laughs> so random. After spamming the free presets, as well as making text and CC, time ran out. But when I tried to export the edit, I realized that I missed the tiny little text at the top that says you can only use those presets nine times in total. Wait, oh my God. All of these are pro? No. No, bro, no. So instead of exporting it, here is the preview. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Yeah. Not a big fan. Sure, CapCut has the flashiest presets out of all the softwares I've used, but you can't really customize anything and without paying, you're extremely limited. Maybe I just didn't use it right, but in my experience, it was rough. So I'm giving CapCut 3.5 out of 10. Hopefully the next software will be better. And better it was because I got After Effects, which is the software I've been using for the past four years. So no commentary needed. Here is the edit. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Not to glaze myself too much, but I think it turned out great. Unfortunately, I did run out of time before I could add the shakes and CC, but if you wanna see the complete edit, click up here. For the rating, I'm gonna give After Effects 9.5 out of 10. Am I biased? Absolutely. But 
After Effects is the closest thing to the perfect editing software. The only catch is that it's how to run without a strong PC and it has a steep learning curve, which is exactly why I made my editing course. It takes you step by step from zero to being able to edit like me. If you're interested, the link will be in the description. Now the last one, Vegas Pro. I downloaded it by totally <coughs> make <coughs> legal means opened it imported the clips and immediately ran into this glitch why the fuck is it glitching like that i spent five minutes trying to fix it but i couldn't figure it out i decided to give up which means my score is surprise surprise 0 out of 10. I'm sure people can make good edits on Vegas, but in my experience, not only I couldn't make a good edit, I couldn't make an edit at all. That being said, here are all the edits side by side. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Don't forget to check out my free overlay pack. Have a good rest of your day and peace.